Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So you might be wondering why am I wearing this hair towel turban on my head right now? Well, I just got out of the shower because I am doing a very exciting video for you guys today. I am doing my first, first impressions for you guys and it is a hair product. Can you guess what it is? Can you, can you? You probably can because the title. It is the Dyson Supersonic. I am so excited to try this, you guys. As you guys know, I don't use a lot of heat on my hair, but my hair is the longest it's ever been, and I'm just thinking that in the winter, on a really cold, rainy day when I wash my hair, I might not want to have my hair wet the whole day. So I would like the option to have some sort of blow dryer. And my blow dryer is messed up. It's just one of those travel blow dryers I've had for a long time and people use when they stay at my apartment. I used to use it to style my bangs when I had my bangs but it is looking a little bit grimy so I wanted to upgrade and I started researching what hair dryers cause the least amount of damage to hair and I came across the Dyson Supersonic and I think I'm a couple years late on this because I noticed that there's like a ton of reviews from a couple years ago everybody was doing their first impressions of this but I still wanted to do it anyways so I went to my Instagram and I asked you guys if any of you had tried it and so many of you guys said yes it's amazing so then of course that made me want to try it even more so then I ran around town looking for one I couldn't find it basically anywhere, but I did find it at the bay and they had a 30 day return policy, which I think is pretty necessary since it's a very expensive tool and I want to make sure that it works. So I splurged and I got it. I'm going to do a little unboxing first and then we will test it out on my hair and we will see how it performs and if I want to keep it. So let's get started. Okay, so here's the big reveal. We have the packaging right here. I'm just going to remove the box very gently. We don't want to rip it. Have to be very careful with this expensive device. Okay, so let's open up the box. It's so beautiful, you guys. Look at it. So on the inside of the box, we have this thick padding foam to help protect the contents inside the box. Look how beautiful this is. Oh, I'm so happy that I got the white. It's so sleek and clean looking. I really, really love it. It came also in uh, gray and pink, but I just like all white. And here we have a diffuser if you have curly hair. And here we have two different nozzles. There's one with a thicker slit and one with a thinner slit. And I'll actually just read you over here on the box. This one is the smoothing nozzle, so it's gentle, low velocity airflow to dry and style at the same time. And this one is the styling concentrator, which is fast, precise airflow for controlled styling one section at a time. And when I was looking at tutorials, uh, this one is more for just general hair drying and this one is more if you're like styling it or you know doing a straight hairstyle so that's cool and these are magnetic i believe so they just kind of clip in oh this side Ooh, that feels cool that's really cool i like that and then over here, I guess this is just the operating manual. It's good to have. And then I'll read you what the box says about some of the settings and details about this. So this has a 2.7 meter cable. And then this right here is the removable filter cage. It's a pretty nice weight. I mean, it's not too light, but it's not too heavy. So then this right here is the cold shot. So if you just want to uh, finish your style with a little bit of cool air, then this is the on and off switch to power it on and off. And then this is the heat setting. So it has four precise settings. I'm just reading it from the box here. 
And then this right here is the airflow setting and it has three settings to choose from. And then apparently right here, the LED lights will flash and let you know what setting you're on. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. It's wrapped in plastic right now, so I'll just take that off. But wow, it's so gorgeous. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, let's get drying my hair. Okay, so I have just brushed out my hair and I apologize if there's some loud noises going on in the background. They just started doing construction down on the street, but I just wanted to continue filming the video and we're gonna put blow dryers on anyway, so it's gonna get loud in here. is you guys really really beautiful so I have my old blow dryer here and the new Dyson so I thought we could kind of compare the sound okay so this is my old dryer this is the low volume Dyson. <laughs> it's still pretty loud. I definitely would consider this to be quiet. This is the low setting. It's powerful. Is this is the medium setting. That's the high setting. I don't know. They both are pretty loud. They just kind of sound different, that's all. And I just found this other little thing in the box. It's like a little non-slip rubber pad you can put your hair dryer on so it doesn't slip off your counter. And since I've been talking and filming so much, my hair is actually kind of like 60 to 70 percent dry already. But that's okay because I would actually probably never blow dry my hair when it's completely soaking wet. I let it air dry like 70 or 80 percent and then just kind of finish it off with the blow dryer so let's get started as you could tell i'm not really skilled with the round brush but i'm just going to try actually with nothing on and see how that works So that was pretty powerful. As you can see, I didn't use any nozzles yet. I just blow dried it using the plain thing. But now I'm gonna go in with the smoothing nozzle. I'm just gonna go through and kind of put the nozzle up on the top of my head and face the air going down because that's apparently how you're supposed to use it. <laughs> to kind of learn how to properly blow dry my hair. I'll just finish this off. Okay, so my hair definitely feels really silky right now. I don't know if you can tell. There's no doubt in my mind that the hair dryer does a good job. you kind of the end results step back for a second so you can see I'm probably gonna run a little bit of oil through the ends because my ends are a bit dry but I'm really happy with the results that I got from it Although maybe you could get those exact same results with a regular blow dryer. But no, I think that it does do a great job of smoothing the hair, especially with the nozzles. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil through my ends. 
just to kind of bring some of that shine back. I don't know, what do you guys think? I'll tell you some stuff that I really uh, did like about the Dyson. Put my hair in front since I just styled it. I miss my straight across bangs, you guys. Okay, so some things that I really, really liked about this. Um, ease of use. I feel like this is a very well designed tool. I never thought about this, but I like how this swivels because when I was holding it um, using the precision, precision no nozzle and the smoothing nozzle, like if my hand was like this and that was like that, that's kind of an awkward thing to move your arm. So you just move the nozzle and then you can just face it in any direction that you want. So I really, really like that. I like how they're really easy to change, interchangeable. I did use just the plain um, dryer to dry the main part of my hair just to get moist, most of the moisture out. I don't know if that's the right thing to do, but I did it and it worked fine. And then I used, I tried actually both the smoothing nozzle and the precision nozzle. I have a really hard time saying precision, precision. Um, both were great. I feel like it's a very comfortable dryer in the hand. Um, it's by no means light as a feather or anything, but it's it's not that heavy. It's kind of like, to me, this is what an average blow dryer would feel. I definitely like the different heat settings and airflow settings. I did use medium heat and also a little bit of high heat. I didn't use the cool heat, or not cool heat, the cool air. It's definitely a luxury product, but I'm really excited to have it. And I want to thank you guys too, because so many of you helped me out on Instagram and convinced me to buy it, but you also gave me the idea to uh, do a video if I did buy it. So I had a lot of fun today testing this out, my very first first impressions. Um, yeah, I want to think of other things I can do a first impressions of. I am going to leave it at that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love you so, so much. And I will see you next time. Bye!